Good evening. I'm John McKay. And I'm Cynthia Aguirre. It was a scandal that rocked Arlington and the state. The prominent pastor of Agape Christian Fellowship accused in three sexual assaults, drug use, and abusing his wife. Now, for the first time, Renee Hornbuckle is talking about the disgrace that broke up her family and brought down Bishop Terry Hornbuckle. Here's News 8's Rebecca Lopez. Way to get encouraged so I can pick myself back up so I can see I can get out of this. He was the charismatic preacher. How many of you made a decision for Christ tonight? She was the supportive wife. <laughs> Together, they built a successful megachurch with more than 2,000 members. They had a beautiful home and drove luxury cars. Sheriff's deputies arrested Hornbuckle. So you believe this wholeheartedly, these accusations? Wholeheartedly. Prosecutors believe they have enough evidence to build... In January of 2005, it all began to fall apart. To have something like this hit you, the first thing you do is like, there is no possible way. There is no way that this is happening. Renee Hornbuckle is talking. You talk about losing things. For the first time. Because it was such a public scandal. She described the hotel room where the bishop confessed he was in trouble. It was there in that hotel room that everything was exposed, but he was still in denial. He accepted no responsibility. Three women, two of the members of his church, Agape Christian fellowship accused him of rape he brought them here to this seedy apartment in eulis drugged them with ghb and then sexually assaulted them no, it was very devastating uh, just to know that someone has been violated in that way um, it, it's just it's, it's horrible there had been rumors for years at the church that hornbuckle was sleeping with female members of his congregation and many speculated his wife knew and people have already said you know oh you know what was she thinking you know she had to have known what was going on you know she you know and let's just be honest sometimes people say she's stupid for staying renee hornbuckle insists she didn't know she insists she was isolated. It is possible to be in a relationship and not know what another person is doing. She does admit her husband started acting erratically and violently. He later confessed to being hooked on meth. I have a, um, a saying where I like to say there's just as much um, pain in the project as there is misery in the mansion. It has taken Renee Hornbuckle years to speak out about what happened, but also to tell the rest of the story. You now you're living in this world that's so volatile mm -hmm. and you just don't know what to expect. And so you just learn to tolerate. Mm -hmm. You put up with things that you know that you should not put up with. Hornbuckle says the man on the pulpit who claimed to be a man of God beat and verbally abused her. Yeah, there were times when he would actually um, just hold me captive in the bathroom for hours upon hours, just belittling me and just uh, stripping me of my dignity and my value, you know, blaming things on me um, for no reason at all. We're going to go ahead and do the hearing. So two years after his arrest, she dutifully sat in the courtroom listening to all the horrible things her husband did. Some of her husband's advisors telling her to stand by her man. I was told um, a lot of times to, to pray. I, I'm a praying woman. I, I believe in the Word of God, but I needed a little something extra. I needed some intervention. She says it pains her now. She didn't do more to get out and thinks about the women who were hurt and the followers who were disillusioned. First of all, I apologize and I'm sorry for the things that happened, but don't give up on God. Her husband was convicted of all three counts and sentenced to 15 years in prison. Since then, she has divorced him, raised their three children alone, renamed the church, and she is now the pastor. In any aspect of your life, it's from the pulpit where she feels truly free. Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News.